Hi everyone, Fox 61 Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank here on the Weather Watch. A blustery day today, pumping in some cooler air. You can probably already feel the temperatures dropping and the wind will ease up as we head through the evening and overnight, but temperatures will be dropping into the 20s. Still nothing like what we saw in place this weekend, so we can't complain, right? Heading into the day tomorrow, a bit cooler than today. We'll start off in the 20s with lots of sunshine, but we will see increasing clouds as we head through the afternoon and some showers developing as we head into to Tuesday night, especially after 8 o'clock at night. So here's that sun to begin. Here come the clouds as we head through the afternoon, lowering and thickening up. And towards the tail end of the commute, we'll bring in some of that rain, which could start off as a brief mix or some wet snowflakes before transitioning over to rain. So there could be a few slippery spots. I'm not expecting it to be a huge deal for Tuesday night, but sometimes it doesn't take much again to make things slippery. So we'll be watching that for you. Otherwise, temperatures will rise as we head through the overnight hours late Tuesday into early Wednesday, and this is long gone by the time you wake up on Wednesday morning. So we're not anticipating any issues for the commute. Otherwise, it's looking like a nice day Wednesday with highs that'll be climbing into the mid 40s to right around 50 degrees as we head through the afternoon. Follow up disturbance for Thursday, especially Thursday night. And then after that, temperatures get really warm to finish off the work week on Friday. Highs soaring through the 50s that only lasts for one day and then it looks like we may get sideswiped with a little bit more rain on Saturday. There is a slight chance, uh, depending on how this evolves, the timing, track, and evolution of this low pressure system that we could end up changing over to a little bit of a mix or even snow on the tail end of this for a later Saturday night into early Sunday morning, but that's still a bit of a question mark. Right now, it doesn't look like it would be a huge impact either way, but since the forecast is so quiet winter-wise, at least it's worth watching. Here's a look at Friday. Look at those numbers in the mid to upper 50s. Following that, we just have mainly rain in the forecast for Saturday, but again, maybe finishing as a touch of snow, depending on how things evolve. For Sunday, turning sunny, and we're back up around 50 degrees as we head towards this time next week.